Hello everyone, this is Justin with Green Residential. Today I'm up in an attic and I'm looking at a gas line that brings gas to a furnace. Now there's several things that I like about this gas line and the way it's set up and I'll point those out to you. This is from the perspective of a home inspector. So if you didn't have these things done correctly that I'll point out, they should be in a home inspection report uh, and they should be noted as deficiencies. So let's get started. To begin with, I like how this gas shutoff valve is easily accessible. I can easily turn the shutoff valve on and off without any obstructions. There's nothing hindering me from this movement that is required to turn the gas valve on and off. That's important. What I also like about this gas shutoff valve is that it's within six feet to the furnace. So it's close, it's accessible. What I like about this flexible gas connector here is that it's w smaller than six feet, which, which it should be. It's also fully visible. It doesn't go through concealed spaces, into doesn't go through walls, through floors. It's fully open, fully visible. If it ever needs to be replaced, it can easily be done. The gas valve is right here. It can be shut off and you can replace the ga flexible gas connector. That is well done. The next thing that I like about this is that it has a sediment trap right here. And this sediment trap is nice and close to the furnace. So what a sediment trap does is it's designed to catch any little impurities in the gas before it gets to into the furnace where those little impurities might cause damage to the furnace. So this is, is done correctly. Now there's a difference between, this is a sediment trap. In a sediment trap, the gas is forced to change directions, which it does. It goes from going like this to this. There's another thing called a drip leg, and that's different. It, with a drip leg, the gas does not change directions. So if it went like this, and then this thing was here, that would be a drip leg. So this is really nice that it's close by to the furnace. I like that. And the last thing that I'd like to point out is going into the housing of the furnace is hard, rigid piping versus flexible piping. Flexible piping should never go into the housing of a furnace. It can be damaged. So I like how this is done. So if you are going to be selling your house and you're going to be having an inspection, you might want to go and check out your furnace and if you see any of these deficiencies have a plumber do those repairs before you have that inspection well i hope this video has been helpful if you found it helpful it'd be very i'd be very grateful if you hit the thumbs up button you can also subscribe to our channel we put out videos that are informative on a regular basis and a lot of our videos they have simple repairs that many homeowners can do themselves well, have a great day and bye for now.